In this video, we're going through the Deity D4 Duo versus the Rode Video Micro. Both of these are super tiny, lightweight microphones that are geared towards content creators. However, the Deity has some interesting features up its sleeve. And so we're gonna go through 10 reasons why you would choose the Deity over, say, the Rode Video Micro. All right, guys, let's get into it. That sucks. All right, before we get into the 10 reasons, I just wanna mention that Deity did send me this microphone for free. They didn't pay me to make this review. I actually didn't even know the microphone was gonna show up. It just showed up in the mail. Been playing around with it and it works great. So let's get into the video. So I'm gonna record the rest of this video using the Deity D4 Duo. And this is a really unique microphone that's really catered towards content creators, but honestly, I don't think it's just for YouTubers or it's just for one use. Like I could see myself using this in a lot of like documentary style settings. And the reason is you have two microphones. You have one on the front, you know, standard, and then you also have one on the back so you can be behind the camera explaining kind of what's going on in front of you or doing an interview with someone that's over there and you're picking up audio on both sides. Right now, I'm up here hiking on the Backbone Trail, which is a trail that goes all the way through the mountains of Santa Monica, I'm working on a concept for a different channel. But two microphones makes this a really unique product in the whole world of content creation. So the first reason you would wanna get this microphone is that it's super easy to use. Now, obviously both of these are very easy to use. You just plug them in and you could start recording. So there's no battery in the Deity D4 Duo. It's just a microphone, a cable, you plug it in, you can start recording audio. And one thing I wanna mention, right now, the audio that you're hearing is coming from this microphone. So I'm recording just from the Deity, just using the front capsule. So what you get in the box is the dual microphone, you get the shock mount, you get the cold shoe mount, you get the cable, and you get the two windscreens. One goes on the front and one goes on the back. The only other aspect that you have on this microphone is a switch right on the top. And this switches between either just using a stereo track for the front microphone or splitting that stereo track into two mono tracks for the front and the back. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that are wondering how this all works when you really only have one input into the camera. Well, your camera has a stereo pair of audio tracks. And the reason that you would record in stereo audio is that it gives you a more sense of 3D space. However, when you're recording with small microphones, a lot of times you're never gonna notice the difference between using a stereo track and a mono track. So if you have the switch on this mic flipped forward, you're gonna record a stereo track, a left and a right, and if you flip it backwards, you're going to get two mono tracks, one for each microphone. All right, so let me show you this in action. Right now you're getting audio just straight from camera, and you're gonna hear me on the right channel. Now, if I rotate the camera and now I'm on the front of the camera, you're gonna hear me on the left channel. And the reason they do this is so that you have the ability to edit each channel independently and they're not mixed as a stereo pair. So instead of being a stereo track that you bring into your editing software, it's gonna be two mono tracks. Now, I'm gonna show you what you have to do to be able to split these and be able to start editing them, but it gives you a lot more flexibility in post. So when you get into edit, it does take a little bit more time to get this audio to sound how you want it. Because what's happening is you have that left and right disparity going on. So you're gonna have to make stereo tracks out of each of the microphones that you're using. So I use Final Cut. If you go into Final Cut, what you'll do is select the track that you're using, and then you go over to the inspector and in the inspector, you'll have this option to click from stereo to dual mono. So what that does is it splits the stereo track into two independent tracks and puts them on both the left and the right. So now you have two stereo tracks. Now in your inspector, you can turn off one side or the other. Now, instead of just turning one side off, if you wanna use audio from both, how I do it is I create a duplicate of the audio track of my Final Cut profile and I'll layer it underneath the other audio track. So I basically have my video and the two audio tracks. Each of the audio tracks, I turn off 
one of the microphones. So now I have independent two tracks I can work with and I can bring them up, bring them down, I can take out sections of it, or I can use my volume to change how intense I want each microphone to be. So there's a ton of flexibility because essentially you're creating two different tracks that you can independently work with and edit. So this microphone is small. When you look at these side by side, the Deity is slightly longer. However, for having two microphones, it's almost the exact same size. And when you put the windscreen on, you can actually see that the windscreen of the Deity is smaller than the windscreen of the Rode. And this just has a bigger puff on it. Now it's not the biggest issue in the world, it's not a huge size discrepancy, but this does look a little bit smaller in its whole package. Now when you use the second windscreen, it does get bigger. So when you put the windscreens on it, it does look like a bigger microphone. However, depending on the situation you're in, there's a lot of times where you're not gonna be using this back one. So it actually is a pretty small microphone. It's good to have a second windscreen, but you're not always gonna be shooting with both microphones, so you don't always need to be using this. So beyond the two microphones, you actually also have an input. So that means you can add another microphone and plug it into the side of this tiny little mic. And what it does is that input will take over the back capsule. So now I'm recording audio using a wireless mic that I have plugged into the side of the DAD D4 Duo. So it's in the auxiliary jack, but I'm still capturing audio using the front microphone. So if you are in a setting where you wanna use wireless audio, you can still get good audio right into the camera using the shotgun mic on the D4 Duo. And when you're in a situation where it's run and gun and you wanna carry less weight, you don't always wanna to have to bring on an additional unit to be able to have two inputs. So this allows you to do more and carry less because you don't need to bring an extra mixer or anything like that. D4 Duo, wireless pack, that's all you need. You got two different independent audio sources that you can record from, all going through this one microphone. Another reason to get the D4 Duo is that it's lightweight. It's actually lighter than the Rode, which I thought is kind of crazy because the Rode is 1.5 ounces and this is 1.4. I mean, we're splitting hairs at this point, but it just shows that you can have more flexibility, more power in this microphone, and it's pretty much the exact same weight. So you're really not adding any more weight. The only thing that you add between these two microphones is a second windscreen. So let's talk about the build of this. One thing that really stands out for me is the fact that you plug in on the side of the microphone rather than the back of the microphone. With the Rode, you have the audio output coming straight out the back, so your cable's always hanging this way. Now, it's, it's not the end of the world, but it is nicer having it just off the side so you don't have a cable coming off the back. Now, design-wise, it comes with the yellow cable, and beyond just having the cold shoe adapter, underneath, you have the option for a quarter mount or a 3 8 mount, so you can really use this with any setup that you're thinking. Okay, that's much better. Oh, man, it is crazy windy out here. We're in like this cave. So with the D4 Duo, you get two windscreens. You get one on the front and one on the back. And they're just a little puff so that when you're in windy situations or there's any sort of like air hitting the microphone, you're not going to hear like a <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me go out into the wind and let me show you what it sounds like without them. Okay, so this is the sound in direct wind with the windscreen on. Now here's with it. So when you use a windscreen, you just get rid of all that annoying sound and minimize it as much as possible. Number nine, one of the most important things is that it does sound good. You've been hearing the audio from this microphone throughout the entirety of this video, and it sounds great. Whether you're using the front, or let me switch this, or you're using the back, you have solid audio from either side of this microphone. Sounds great. All right, let's just do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the D4 Duo and the Rode Video Micro. So, camera's on a tripod, it's an arm's length away, completely stretched out. 
And I'm just gonna talk for a second so you guys can get a sense of how this sounds. So this is one, a two, a three, four, five. What do you think about this microphone? Do you like it? Tell them about your day. How did it go? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. All right, same exact settings, same distance. I actually have the same camera settings and it's hitting about the same range on the audio. So they're very similar in the setup. So what do you think about this microphone? This is the Rode Video Micro. I've used this one for a long time. I've always liked having this small microphone on my camera just because it's nice to have a lightweight camera that um, you can take anywhere and you don't need a battery. What do you think? So this is the audio. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, she had to go down for a nap. So I just wanted to do one more test. This is the back microphone of the Deity. Now, typically you're not gonna be this far away. You're gonna be more like here. So this is how the sound is if you're pretty close to the camera in like a normal setting for using this back mic. Now guys, after you finish watching this video, if you wanna see some creative ways on how to use your Deity mic, my buddy Dave from Kinotika actually did another video that he just released at the same time as this video. So I'll put a link down below in the description where you guys can check that out if you wanna see another video about this mic. All right, so let's talk about price. The Rode is $59. It's a cheap microphone. The Deity is $89. And for that extra $30, what you're getting is an extra microphone on the back, which is unique. No other microphone that I've come across has this kind of feature. And then bonus, you have that audio input. So if you are someone who does use wireless audio, I do it all the time when I'm out hiking, you know, this works great. It's definitely a mic that I'm gonna start incorporating more and more into my workflow just because I like having all the flexibility with this microphone and having that option to speak behind the microphone gives me just more freedom if I need to like do an interview or capture something where I'm behind the camera. And if you wanna learn how to capture better audio, I've teamed up with my buddy Sydney. Check out this video right here. Goes through everything you need to know when it comes to recording better audio for your videos. All right guys, I will see you over there.